Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the concept of cookies in Java Servlet. So, what are cookies? Cookies are the text file stored on the client computer, and they kept lot of information which is specially used for the tracking purpose. Now, in Java, uh, we are studying the concept of Servlet, so we will see how we can set cookies using Servlet, how we can read the values of cookies using servlet now there are uh, basic step involved in the identification using cookies so now we will see with the help of a diagram suppose this is a browser this is the browser on the client side so we have a browser which is present on the client side and this is the server initially for the first time the client sends the request to the server with some information like username password location etc so for the first time browser or the client sends request to the server now in response to this request the server sends server sends response plus cookies so the server is now sending the response plus cookies so this is the first step this is your second step and now the cookies are stored on this browser which is on the client side certain information about the browser about the client is now stored on the browser so whenever a user sends again a request to the server the request now comes with cookies so the request is now appended with the cookie stored on the browser so that is how the identification step is involved using cookies so uh, for example for example a client sends his name age or identification number to the server now server has sent back the response saying welcome to the website and stored his identification number on the client side so whenever a client is again accessing the server he doesn't have to enter the identification number because that identification number is present in the cookie and the request is now coming with this cookie which contains the identification number so that is how the cookie concept works now uh, there are different types of cookies there are different types of cookies one is non persistent cookie and another is persistent cookie so uh, if there is a question on cookies in your um, theory exams you can explain this different types of cookies also non persistent cookies are valid only for a single session so there is a li very little difference between two uh, non persistent cookies are valid for single session only now what is the meaning of this single session the meaning of single session is the cookie is removed each time the user closes the browser so whenever a user closes the browser the cookie which is stored is deleted or removed whereas persistent cookie is valid for multiple session it means the cookie is not removed from the browser whenever the user closes the browser it is removed if the user log out or user wishes to delete the cookie by its 
own choice so these are two different types of cookies non persistent and persistent cookie now we will see the steps to set cookies in java servlet there are basically three uh, steps first is you have to create a cookie object then you have to set the age of the cookie and sending the cookie in the http response header so now we will see each of this step one by one so to create a cookie object you can call the cookie constructor with a cookie name and the value of that cookie <coughs> for example create constructor say cookie c is equals to new cookie and in this you have to pass the name of the cookie for example i am saying key key is the name of the cookie and second parameter is the value of that particular cookie so that is your uh constructor to creating the cookie object for example if i write like this cookie c1 is equals to new cookie name so the name of the cookie is now set as this value that is name and the value that i am setting is eec for example so the value of a cookie with the uh identify identifier name is set as eec so that is how you can set the cookies second is setting the maximum age now setting the maximum age means you are specifying how long in seconds the cookie should be valid and that that can be achieved with the help of set max age method how you can do that you have to call the method with the help of this object so c1 dot set max age this is the method which is used to set the maximum age of the cookie and in this you have to specify the number of seconds for example if i am specifying as 60 into 60 into 24 so for this many time these many seconds the cookie c1 will be valid so that is your setting the maximum age now you have created a cookie you have set the maximum age of the cookie what we have to do next is we have to send the cookie into the http response header so that it can be stored on the client side for that you have to use response dot add cookie method because we are using the response to communicate with the client in servlets so you have to write it like this response dot add cookie now this is the method which we are calling with the help of this response object and which cookie you want to add that is c1 the name of the cookie object so that is how you can set the cookies in java servlet now we will see one example where we will uh, set one cookie and then we will see how to retrieve the values of those cookies in the servlet program so now we will see how to uh, set cookie and how to read cookie in java servlet so to uh, set cookie we have to create an object of cookie constructor class so we are creating cookie object so cookie suppose the object that i am creating is first name then new cookie the name of this cookie is f underscore name and the value that i am setting in this cookie is the value that i am reading from a html form so for uh, reading the html form we have already seen we have to use request dot get parameter and for example the name of the parameter is first underscore name so now we have created a cookie with the name first name that is containing the value of the html parameter first name in the cookie variable f_name now 
वी हैव टू सेट द एज ऑफ दिस कुकी सो राइट फर्स्ट नेम डॉट सेट मैक्स एज एंड स्पेसिफाई द सेकेंड्स फॉर विच यू वॉन्ट टू यूज द कुकी देन एड द कुकी इन द रिस्पॉन्स हेडर सो राइट रिस्पॉन्स डॉट एड कुकी एंड द नेम ऑफ द कुकी विच इज फर्स्ट नेम और द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द कुकी सो दैट इज हाउ यू कैन सेट कुकीज नाउ टू रीड कुकीज वी हैव टू क्रिएट एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ कुकी क्लास दैट इज अ वी क्रिएट एरे टाइप ऑब्जेक्ट बिकॉज देर आर लॉट ऑफ कुकीज दैट कैन बी रेड सो क्रिएट दैट ऑब्जेक्ट सो कुकी फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी के इज इक्वल्स टू नाउ वी आर रीडिंग कुकीज फ्रॉम द ब्राउजर सो वी हैव टू यूज द रिक्वेस्ट ऑब्जेक्ट so request dot and the method that is used is get cookies so request dot get cookies from this we are reading all the cookies that are present in the request header now to print the name and value of that cookie we have to use we have to use get name and get value methods so write it like this out dot print ln out dot print ln ck0 dot get name so this particular method is used to retrieve the name of the cookie in this case the name is f underscore name then to <coughs> then to print the value of that particular cookie we have to use get value method so write ck0 dot get value so the output in this case will be f underscore name and the value which is present in this parameter for example the value is eec so this is the way you can use cookies in your servlet program thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel for more such tutorials on servlet and other computer science related subjects thank you